we know you're off. We'll come back over to the uh, North America next yeah. year. Um, we have a fan who asked, could he play in the Wilds top six this year if he did come over? I think the answer is probably yes. His move from the wing to center and how good he looked at center last year completely changed his trajectory. Uh, Europe was a player who I had in my top 10 in his draft year. So he's a player I've always been really high on, but he just never seemed to get the looks and the power play time and the puck touches that he needed when he was on the wing at the KHL level, certainly at the junior level, whether he was playing wing or not, he was going to dominate because of his skill level, because he's de got decent size. He, he's an incredibly smart player. Uh, all of those things made him a dominant player against his peers, but there was really three parts of three years there where he just wasn't involved with the KHL team. And then I started to worry about his development last year was kind of like, okay, if he doesn't, if he can't play 15 minutes a night for them, if they're going to play him six minutes a night again, his, his development is going to be in trouble. Like his progress is going to be hindered by the fact that he spent, then it, it would have been four seasons basically of toiling away in the KHL. Um, so the fact that he they moved him to center and then he just seemed to find a role on that team and he was excellent right away as a center I think because of the smarts piece it just he just made it work uh, it changed everything now now you've got a potential center uh, he's he's obviously a natural winger but I think he he's he's going to be a center now like that's a big deal so um, and, and then obviously the production and being the team's leading scorer and all of that is huge, huge, huge deal for a player that age in, in the KHL. Now, I don't think the KHL now post-war is what it was. Uh, they, they aren't getting the same level of imports. They aren't getting as many AHL players coming over. So it's predominantly a Russian league now. Uh, and, and, and I mean, there are still North Americans over there and some good ones, but I do think the the level of the KHL is a little bit lower now than it was. So some of those records that some of these kids are breaking, like Michkov and Yurov, I think you do have to take with a bit of a grain of salt. Uh, but, I mean, he still did it. He still went out there and was one of the best players on a night-to-night -night basis as a center in a top professional league at an early age. Like, he's he's a stud. He's I, I think he's got legit top six upside. Like, he's going to be an impact. I'm not sure he's going to be a true star player. Like, I don't think you're getting Kaprizov kind of thing but I think he's going to be an impact guy in the NHL. So would you view him as like tops of the prospect pool for the wild or like who, who would you label loosely as your top three guys in the pool today? Oh, he's the top forward prospect. No question. I mean, it depends how you rate Jesper Wallstead. Um, but I think it's, it's Wallstead and, and you're off right now. Are there, they're sort of two top guys. And then Booyam is obviously uh, on D is in a, in a stratosphere of his own. Mm -hmm.